Welcome to Math in a Box with Susan Johnsey. In this lesson today, we will study functions and relations. In most math classes, a relation is described with either a formula or a rule, and the variables that we normally use are x and y. You can really use other variables, and you can use more than two if you like, but today we're just going to look at relations that have a rule between two variables, x and y. Now, before you begin this lesson, you really should have known how to graph, should uh, have studied graphing, know how to plot points, and possibly even draw lines. A relation is a simple rule. I have a rule written here, y equals x squared minus 4. In this relationship, we will square the x, and then we will subtract 4 from it. If I want x to be, for example, a negative 3, I would write y equals negative 3, notice I'm writing it in parentheses, subtract 4. Now the parentheses are really necessary because otherwise you can make mistakes with signs and sometimes people even multiply when they're supposed to subtract or add when they're supposed to be multiplying. Various things can happen that are not quite right if we don't write these in a parenthesis. Now a negative 3 squared, that does mean a negative 3 times another negative 3. And a negative times a negative is a positive, so we get a positive 9 here. And then we're going to subtract the 4. So y equals 5. For this relation, y equals x squared minus 4, we know that x is a negative 3, then y is a 5. I'm writing these as an ordered pair. Our x is a negative 3, our y is a 5. Now it's called an ordered pair because they're in alphabetical order. The x is written first and then the y. It's called a pair because there's two numbers. Now this is just one example for this relation. We could do others. Let's let x equal 0 now. If x is a 0, then y will be 0 squared subtract 4 y equals, well 0 squared is just 0, and 0 subtract 4 will give you a negative 4. Now the x values have a special name. All the x values that you can use have a special name. They are called the domain. All the x values that you can use. And for this problem it is all numbers, all real numbers. Our numbering system has a name. It's, they are called real. Uh, we used to capitalize that years ago. I wish the book still did that. It is the proper name for our numbering system. Uh, the real numbers. So the domain for this problem, or the x values that I can use, is all real numbers. The y values, they also have a special name. The y values are called the range. So all the y values that you can get out of this relation are called the range. And this too will be all real numbers. You can really come up with any y value and you can come out with any x value for this relation. Now this is not true for all relations and we'll see some of those later. Alright, now let's talk about functions. I've explained to you what a relation is. It's just a rule about x and y and you will make up the x values and find the y values that correspond. A function, though, is a special relation. For a function, every x value that we can use, every x value that we can use can have only one y value that's associated with it. Now we did have that up here. For each x that I substituted into our relation, we found one y value. When I substituted in a negative 3, I got 5. When I substituted in a, a 0, I found negative 4. Each x value had only one y value. Let's look at another relation, x plus y squared equals 4. Let's let x equal 0 and find y. If x equals 0, then we will have 0 plus 
y squared equals 4. Of course, that just simplifies to y squared equals 4. Now, remember, we're trying to find y, not just y squared, but we need to know y. What number can we square and have it equal to 4? Do you know? y would have to be equal to 2, because if I square 2, I will get 4. But isn't there another number that we could square and get 4? Now remember, when you square, you would have to write it twice. So what number could I write twice, or write it in your mind, or write it on your scrap paper there? You write the same number down twice, you multiply and get 4. I'm sure you know, it is negative 2. If we write down a negative 2 twice and multiply that together, we will get 4. Now what just happened? I let x equal 0, and what did I get? I've got y is a 2, but I also have, for x equal to 0, I have y equals negative 2. That's two different y values for the same x value. So this relation is not a function. Remember, a function for each x value, you may have only one y value. We have two y values for our one x value of 0. You can try another number. Let's let x equal uh, negative 5. If I write negative 5 plus y squared equals 4, this takes a little more work than the last one to work, so we will find that y squared equals 9. Now when I selected my x up here at the top, I was careful about choosing these numbers because I wanted us to come out with a y squared that was pretty easy for you to figure out. But just because I, uh, if we wanted to go back and choose other numbers that were a little harder, uh, you could still find a value for your y, in most cases anyway not all the cases. But again, we have found that if I let x be a negative 5, y could be 3, or if I let x be a negative 5, we could have y equals a negative 3. So we have proven again that this is not a function. What about the domain? Remember the word domain was all the x values? I was careful when I selected my x's. What if we tried to use x equal to 8? What happens? We get 8 plus y squared equals 4. All right, in order to solve for y squared, I must subtract 8 from both sides. Subtracting 8 from both sides will give me y squared equals negative 4. What number can I square and get negative 4? Well, when we square any number, a negative times a negative would give us a positive. If I square a positive number, a positive times a positive gives me a positive. There is no way to square a number and get a negative. So you see, I can't use x equals 8. It's not going to be in the domain. Can you think of other numbers that we could not use? Look back up here at our relation. x plus y squared equals 4. Now remember, it's not a function. It is just a relation. We can't use 8. Could we use 7 or 6 or 5? No. How about 4? We can use 4. So y squared would equal 0, and we would get one answer, y equals 0. So for x is equal to 4, we get the point 4, 0. But the domain on this problem is not all real numbers. I'll discuss domain again in another lesson. It really takes quite a bit of work to be able to find the domain 